What is your plan? I'm sort of making it up as I go. But you're not talking about Varm. You cannot outsmart Odin. It's worked so far. Has it? Now what? I'm gonna try to tame it. Tame it? Sure. I've tamed wolves before. Okay, I'll distract Garm. You freeze his chains with your axe so he can't run and latch him onto something. No, too dangerous. It's a good plan. Let's move. Wait. Are you okay? We almost... Your transformation. Did Odin teach you to control it? No. We will not rely on what he taught you. Next time, do it my way. Yes, sir. Why didn't that work? You didn't mess up on purpose, did you? Now, who does not trust? Sorry, I wasn't fair. I just... I thought it would work. Patience. We will find a way. I think we need to get up to that ledge up there. How? Do you see? Oh, why didn't I think of that? The solution is not always obvious. I think I hear him up ahead. We do this my way now. I guess your way means... It means what you think it means. But can't we try and... We have the power to limit the harm this creature can cause. We will use it.
reach is beyond reason, Atreus!
is over. I wish it didn't have to end that way. It's my fault he got loose. That he's dead. Sometimes there is no other way. I know. Can we just go home now? Atreus. I know. Close my heart to it. <sighs> Another locked door. Welcome. <laughs> Guess sigil arrows don't work on that. Maybe we can use my sigils to carry the frost to the gear. Freezes. You are gone. I sought the Norns. They told me Heimdall intended to kill you in Asgard. Heimdall? The Norns? The dead will keep flooding the realms. The realms will collapse. You must learn to calm your mind. Maybe I've learned I run better on chaos. What else did you learn? We work better when we trust each other. You hear that? Where is he? Watch out! Yeah. 
down. Stay down. I can see that. How does he keep coming back? That is his nature. You gotta change that. Back! It's like he doesn't have to go to kill. Wait! I think I can stop this! How? I need you to help me get on his back! Trust me! Please! I got it! You do it your way then. Shield up! <laughs> Gotta find him. Come on. Well, guess he came this way. Let's find another way up. What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do when Fenrir died. I didn't know it then. But I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir's could change its nature. Yeah. Let's see if it took. When I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arms. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day, you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Not like that. <laughs> You're okay. Sorry I hurt you. It's over now. I promise. Fen? Are you? you too. Didn't know if that would work. We did it! Sit. How is this possible? It's giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets. No. A promise. When that someone's trusting me to keep. Like you kept your promise to mom? See what I can do when you trust me? Move. So, when the Nords told you Heimdall was gonna try and kill me, 
what your spear's for, isn't it? It is. Heimdall's a jerk, but that's not who you are anymore, right? A god killer? You don't want war. No, but I will do what it takes to keep you safe. How can Open. Maybe we can use the sigils to freeze the gear up there. Father, if you can't trust the fates, why do you care what they say? When it comes to your life, I can take no chances. The Mystic Gateway got buried. I have it. What's wrong? I have been falling back into my old ways. Angry. Distrustful. With you. Now and before. Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior, worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same, All right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. Don't be sorry, Father. Be better. <laughs> Let's go home. Nothing is written. That can't be unwritten. Remember? We shouldn't let prophecy define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see.
You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. You're back. How did it go? We should trouble us no further. Well, that's a bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah. Sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on. Let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. I'm gonna study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to... And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sindri? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Yet I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You were right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tia. I believe you just might. What'll it be? Keep her sharp, and she'll keep you alive.
Need something special? And the kid? you wanted to take care of. I'm sure the lad would love to help. Ready when you are. up your mind. Hey, wait! We're with you. Travel to Vanaheim. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So, what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? What's this thing? Some kind of altar? I do not know. Ow! Freya's camp is to the right. No rushes there. 
Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered, and there is much I owe her. Don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where's Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. At least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. You don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their dead. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars. <laughs> I think he's really forgiven me for shooting him. Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy, eh? Okay, okay. Point taken.
looks and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Mm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. Thank you. Incoming! <laughs> It's gonna blow! This excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Lotus Vini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir's the Light Elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar, married to a warrior, Baylor. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Baylor's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Baylor's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. I can sense them up there. It's got to be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's going to be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye. That's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We'll try that first. So besides Odysvini and the elves, who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Ain't out of your head. I'm ready. I'll
Did you see that? I didn't know they could do that. A new enemy. Stay alert. Yeah? Correct. There she is again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. This wall, when I bring it down, we strike. Yeah! Uh. Empty. Where'd they all go? Wait. There's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. Here's hoping that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Uh. Come on! A double ambush? Okay, you can see that coming. <laughs> Give him what for? He's gone again. Hurry, we gotta get across. Still up there. Another ambush? Really? That brings the charm. They are not smart. Aye, and there's that. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. 
So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine? Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward. From Helheim. Heimdall must have grabbed this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. straight into Ragnarok. Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing.
just like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Elsa! Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Mm -hmm. 